Okay, I came over on the 17th of November, 1949, which was the Georgian period. George VI, wasn't it? So I called myself the Georgian. My father had his first cafe in 1951 across the road, which was the old Piccadilly. Like, this is why this one's called the new Piccadilly. He cottoned on to the colours of the um, 1951 Festival of Britain, which brought in citrus colours. It worked. It was um, a wonderful thing to see in the dark 50s, these colours. And they've stood the test of time, and people still love them. There was uh, episodes with the greasers when this place, somehow or other, in a short space of time, got taken over by the motorbike greaser boys. <laughs> and the problem was the jukebox. We barred them. But their farewell parting shot was that um, they all sort of drove round and they were tooled up with rocks. All our front was, was totally smashed and I hid behind that pillar over there, my father behind the bar, and my brother-in-law, I don't know, I think he hit the deck. But all we could see was showers of glass just ending up at, at the end of the room here, you know. It was pretty, pretty, so it was like the Alamo, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, this is going to go because, well, the plan's already been approved. It's only a question of time when the developers want to actually start developing, but it's, uh, it's finite. It's all over. The, game, the, the show's all over. Finito. Selling cups of tea at 50p. Just can't do it. The overheads are just too great. I'm 61, for goodness sake. I've been here since I was seven years old.